Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'll be telling you about 10 points to see for when you are buying a used laptop. So recently, I purchased a Microsoft Surface Book, which was from the first generation. In general, laptops have a longer shelf life than a smartphone. A laptop usually lasts for around five to six years for any normal consumer. So buying a flagship model from the past year may be a good deal compared to a mid-range laptop of this year. So let's start the video and get into the details of how, how to buy a used laptop. So first point will be quite obvious. You have to see for the cosmetic condition or the outward condition of the laptop. Whenever dealing in a used laptop, always check the laptop's outward condition in a bright sunlight or in good lighting conditions. Check for any obvious dents or any major scratches, especially in the screen area, which may later result in a cracked screen. Sometimes a small dent, even a small dent on the body, especially in the screen area, may later on result in the screen getting a lot of shear or stress and cracking on its own. So once you have checked the complete cosmetic condition of the laptop, you can go on to the second point. The second point uh, will be the keyboard condition. To check for the functionality of the keyboard, open a word processing software like Word or even a notepad, anything will do. Type on the keyboard for few minutes and see that there is no stuck keys as many times even if the keys uh, do not look recessed but many times the inside mechanism of the keyboard itself gets stuck and you will see that many a word uh, is getting repeated or alphabets are getting repeated and while typing make sure you are hitting the all the alphabets including the shift caps control function all the buttons because repairing a keyboard or replacing a keyboard will be a costly affair Nowadays, most modern laptops are coming with inbuilt touchscreen and a pen functionality. So it is prudent enough to check for the touchscreen. To do that, you can just open any paint program and start drawing with your fingers first and then with a pen. Do remember to fill the whole screen with all the black or red colors possible and not leave a single pixel behind. Next one major important part of a laptop will be the battery status. Many of the new laptops are coming with a sealed batteries and it is highly essential to know the battery condition or the battery report. So you can generate a battery report and see number of cycles done. In Macbooks you can see easily but in Windows 10 you have to key in a command to get the battery report. I'll show you here how to get a battery report in most of the modern laptop. Target for a good battery status will be around 100 to 125 or 150 cycles done because the maximum uh, cycle still the health remains 100% is around 400 to 500 cycles for most of the laptop batteries. Even then after that the status or the battery condition doesn't deteriorate immediately but slowly the health degrades. A 100 to 150 cycle uh, gives you a uh, usage of around one year for the laptop. The next most important part of the laptop to check will be the ports. The laptop may be having a USB type A port, USB type C port, a SD card reader and a HDMI or a VGA slot. Make sure when you go to check the laptop you carry with yourself a small USB pen drive or a USB C pen drive and a SD card to check the ports and its functionality. Do check the VGA port or the display ports whether it is uh, scratched a lot. So if you find there is a lot of scratches then maybe it is used a lot then you may, might need to check that also. Now another major thing to see is the warranty status of the laptop. Many times the sellers claim that the laptop is from an imported or from a different country of origin and they don't have a proper bill to claim its original date of purchase. Nowadays almost all the laptop companies have some way to know the exact date of purchase. So number one Microsoft Surface uh, series of laptops have their serial number engraved either in the clipboard or underneath the connection area. The Dell series of laptops have a service tag number. From the service tag you can know the exact model number as well as the date of purchase. Other laptop manufacturers like Lenovo and HP also use the serial number to know the exact date of purchase. So that is very essential if someone is claiming the laptop to be one year old and you find out to be two to three years old then you can straight away walk out from the deal. So next thing to check is the SSD condition. To check the condition of SSD, there is a very small application called as Crystal Disk Mark, 
this application has a portable variety also which can be just loaded onto a usb pen drive and you can carry it and you can know the ssd status without installing the program onto the laptop this program will show you how much ssd has been used how many how much data has been written on read from the ssd even though these modern ssd have a long life uh, but it will be still better if it is within 10 terabyte range If the laptop has a hard disk drive in place of a SSD or both then you can check the hard disk drive condition also and search for any file errors present in the hard disk drive. So one more point again to see for is the CPU configuration of the laptop. This can be easily done with a small portable program again that is the CPU Z software. I will give a link down in the description below to download the software. From this software you can know all the details about the laptop configuration. Next point again will be the to know the GPU configuration of the laptop. If your laptop uh, laptop comes with a integrated GPU then it is fine. If it is coming with a discrete GPU you can know the exact model from this software which is called as GPU Z. So if you take care of these basic 10 steps while buying a used laptop there is very 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 less chance that you will end up with a bad laptop. I know most of you will be knowing about these basic 10 steps but still there is a large audience which still doesn't know how to buy a used gadget. So if you know anyone or, of, or any of your friend who is buying a used laptop, do share this video with them and let them know what all to see for buying a used laptop. Thank you guys. Do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you like the video. Thank you.